Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. I've not uploaded in a while and I'm truly 100% sorry for that. It's just a lot of things going on. I've actually devoked a lot of my time into the agency, even more than I did before. Now, as you guys know, before I was doing weekly uploads, um, it's not like I didn't have time to actually make YouTube videos. It just takes a lot of energy out of your day and just energy to be able to think, create, edit, etc. Now, you know, in the last two months, we've built the agency to the point where we don't have to worry about a lot of, you know, little nitty gritty things, you know, on a daily basis where it just allows me to just get on demo calls or just handle clients here and there to build out systems, which now, you know, today I actually have a call in about an hour, but I decided to actually, why not shoot a video? Because last month, uh, the agency actually hit a six figure agency, uh, monthly recurring income, which is 8.7 K. Now, if we continue to keep it at that pace, we would end the year with hundred K if not more. Um, obviously our goals is to be able to scale it to the point where, you know, six figure to us is not a question, which it took us about two years to be at this point where last month we hit 8.7 K. Now this month regarding to recurring income and new clients and stuff like that, we're projected to do anywhere from 12 to 15 K. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, I'm just, would love to go into that in another video, but today, mainly this video is about what's the difference between a six figure agency owner and a zero uh, a month agency owner, or just an agency owner with one or two, maybe sometimes three clients. Now, there's nothing super, super dramatically different that if you do this today, your life will change tomorrow. Everything happens gradually. It's 1% at a time. We didn't get here, you know, like this. It took us about almost two years to hit a six figure mark. And it's just a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, a lot of failures, a lot of no's, a lot of systems breaking, a lot of things failing, and a lot of things working. One of the biggest things for us is being able to adapt to this whole situation in the world and actually switching niches. Now we're actually serving cleaning companies over to Elite Digital Marketing, uh, where prosperity is still there, but it's just more on the base of referral and clients coming to us if they need anything with Facebook ads or something like that. But most of our income is coming from Elite Digital Marketing. Elite Digital Media, which is our educational side, is actually on pause as of right now and relaunching everything at the end of July. Now, the reason for that is because we've been working on the course. We've been actually reamping a lot of things to make it 10 times better for everybody that's going to be joining. Now, if you're interested in actually joining a program that's going to show you step by step on how to sign your first client and be able to grow it to six figures, I'll leave a link below for you to check out our website. Now, done with the plug. I want to get straight into this video. Now, what is the difference between the, the six figure agency owner man and an agency owner with a couple clients, if not any clients. Right off the bat, the number one thing, the thing that I'm gonna break down today is daily habits. It's not prospecting, it's not because we have better sales, it's not because we prospect more, it's not that we fulfill more clients. Um, those things definitely play a role, don't get me wrong, but the number one reason why we're at where we're at a six figure agency is because of our daily habits. Now, as you guys know, if you guys don't know already, I do have a partner. His name is Alex. Now, Alex is actually traveling in Mexico right now, which is awesome. I really wish I was in Mexico, but the grind never stops. So I want to be able to break down daily habits because something that I've always, always uh, uh, kind of gone by is how you do one thing, right? How you do one thing is how you do everything. Write this down right now, put it as your wallpaper, put it on your wall, do whatever you can, put it on your computer screen. How you do one thing is how you do everything. And this is what actually got us to six figures. It wasn't anything with the prospecting side, it wasn't anything with sales, it wasn't anything with, with fulfillment. It had to start here. Those things came into play when my daily habit or mindset was set correctly. Now. To break it down, how you do one thing is how you do everything in your daily habit. You know, what that means is this, you know, in life, in just in general, in the daily basis, most people go to the gym. Hopefully you go to the gym. If you don't, please start going to the gym. Um, everybody eats. I mean, if you're not eating, please go and uh, go to the doc and get that checked out. Uh, gym, eat, you know, hang out with friends or just hang out uh, or go out, whatever you want to go call it. Um, so gym, eat, hang out, family, just some basic things you do on a daily basis, right? This is just some things you have on a daily basis. Now, one thing I wanna just put in here is down here is your agency. And the reason why I wanna separate all of these things from the agency is because this is your business. 
um, in general. I'm not gonna, I wouldn't say normal. I would just stay the ordinary person. They have all of these, or they have the opportunity to do all of this, maybe not gym, but they eat, they go out and they hang out with people and they have family, right? Um, or they just hang out with the, themselves, they play video games, whatever it is, right? But let's just say this person goes to the gym, they get a workout in every single day, which is great. If they pretty much, all this is daily task, which brings you back to if you, how you do one thing, how you do everything. If you half ass, right? Let's just say you give half the effort at the gym, uh, you give full effort eating, you give uh, full effort hanging out, and with family, you give full effort, right? Full, 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 half. When it trans, it translates over to your agency. Because you're not fully committed to the gym, right? It actually triggers in your brain to show you that you can't trust yourself. So what that means is if you tell yourself, I'm going to the gym five days a week, right? Five days a week. If you tell yourself, Min, I'm going to the gym five days a week. And that week, you actually only went two times. And this happens week after week. What this builds in your brain, in your in, in your mind, in your memory, is that you can't even keep a promise to yourself. So because of that, when it comes to your agency, when it comes to, hey, do this many prospecting uh, uh, messages, do do this sales call, do uh, fulfill it this way, if you can't keep your promise by going to the gym and keeping your health up, there's no way your body is going to allow you to be disciplined enough to actually work on your agency. You might be like, man, you know, there's many people who don't go to the gym and have a successful agency and you're right. And the reason for that is because they actually don't even prioritize going to the gym, which I'm gonna tell you right now, you know, health is wealth. Take it however you want to. I have to go to the gym. I have to stay active to be able to perform at a top level in my agency. You might be different. But let's just say gym is not an occasion for this person's life. They don't believe in going to the gym. They don't care about it, et cetera, et cetera. We get into eating, right? Eating, one of the biggest things is balance in life. And when it comes to eating, I like to eat at a balanced state. You know, I want to be able to not just eat junk food every day, but have healthy meals here and there in, in, in my kind of uh, uh, weekly um, I, I wouldn't say meal prep, but just in general when eating, you want to be able to mix it together. Some people go to the gym and they eat really, really good, which builds a fucking hell of a discipline when it comes to that. But I believe in balance and I want to be able to actually balance my eating. And because I believe in balance and I don't take it to the extreme and believe I have to take it to the extreme, it doesn't impact my agency when I you know, uh, eat junk food once or twice a week because my belief in life and how I want to live my life is going to translate to my agency. So if somebody, and let me kind of summarize this up a little bit. If somebody believed eating good and only eating good food is the way of living, right? And then let's just say they have a cheat meal. They're not going to be able to perform in their agency as high as somebody who believes that there should be a balance in food and that you can have cheat meals once or twice a week and then be able to good or eat good uh, throughout the other week. So in this state, because I believe when it comes to eating, I should have balance. If I balance my eating, I'll be able to actually perform my agency because in my mind, I've already made it clear that I can actually, you know, eat you know out a couple times a week and it's totally fine and the reason for that is because i actually go to the gym on a daily basis so if you guys are eating a crap ton of food junk food whatever it is go to the gym um okay so that's pretty much with when i say full it's just perspective in life if you want to go and, and instead of five times a, a week you make a promise to yourself you go two times a week and you actually go two times a week you're going to perform better at your agency because you're able to keep a promise at the gym at this workout um, and hopefully that makes sense. It's just perspective of life. And that's why people who don't go to the gym can still perform amazing in the agency. Um, and the reason for that, because their perspective in life isn't worried about going to the gym. So they don't have to do it. When you start doing things, that's when, you know, this trigger of how you do one thing, how you do everything, it's how you do everything comes in. Which brings me to the next point is like hanging out with friends. I believe this is a balance too. If you wanna get to where you wanna go faster, cut out friends, cut out just in general going out and just focus on growing your agency. But for me specifically, I believe in balance. I was able to do it and grow my agency to uh, six figures. And I'm not saying you guys can or cannot. I'm just saying this is my experience and how I've been able to do it. I still hang out with my friends a couple times a week. And it's just a balance of business where I understand when to actually 
uh, uh, focus on work and getting my agency to the next level and when to actually, you know, take a time with actually family and friends, which brings me to another uh, topic, which is family, right? I keep a balanced lifestyle with my family too. Uh, regarding to seeing people, I try my best to. And obviously, everybody's busy. I would say this, uh, so I don't have to sit here and lie to you guys. I see my friends more than I do my family. And there's no personal reason. It's just on the basis of a lot of my families are busy. And I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like, you know, as a 20 year old entrepreneur, just a 20 year old person or human, I've just hang out with my friends a little bit more, which is nothing is wrong with that. As long as you, you know, stay in touch with your family, keep in touch with them, have a good relationship with them. To me, that is perfect. So that's my perspective in life. So as long as I keep my promise to myself and I show up to the gym when I need to, and I eat correctly when I want to, and you know, I hang out with friends and, and family at a balanced state, it's going to affect my business uh, positively. And the reason for that is because my mind is telling me that everything I tell myself, I'm able to accomplish. So when it comes to the agency, when I say, hey, we're going to bring on board four new clients this month, my mind already knows I'm going to accomplish it. So because that, it puts me at a state of confidence that people who never had that belief from doing these things and having their self, like for instance, confidence is crucial. And the reason why, if I you know make sure that I handle these things in my life, my agency does well is because confident builds from just small wins and that adds up over time. If I can win by going to the gym every time that I tell myself I need to, right, that builds confidence. Men, you're in control of your life, your mind, uh, which now you can actually control your agency because how you do one thing is how you do everything. Hopefully that doesn't confuse you guys and, and actually help you guys understand what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to break down another way of explaining this to simply put it for you guys. The circle the clearer the circle, the better it is. So let's just say life, okay? We'll say life here and we'll do business. Men, what does life mean? What's in life? Life is like the gym, food, family, um, you know, other stuff like daily habits, morning routines, reading books. And if your perspective is this, it's never going to work. If you think that your life can just be like this, right? If you think your life can just be like that and your business is like this, I'm sorry, my friend. It's not how it works. And this is why most agency owners fail within the two to three month mark. Because they're trying to perfect and build their agency while their life is literally out of order. So because of that, how you do one thing and how you do everything, how you do one thing is how you do, it doesn't work. You wouldn't be able to actually function or actually build your business correctly if your life is out of line. The reason that most agency owners succeed it's because they understand that if they want their business to actually look like this, their life also has to be like this because how you do one thing is how you do everything. If their life is in line, their business is in line. But let's just say in life you hit, and this is just to explain it for you guys to really, really understand. Let's just say this circle right here. In life, everything is going well. You go to the gym, you're raising your family, blah, blah, blah. You're in an amazing relationship. Boom, she cheats on you. She cheats on you right? You're telling me right now as a human, if she were to, act, if your relationship were to just die down, something happens, she cheated on you, you cheat, whatever it is. And it affects you emotionally because you care for her, love for her. You're telling me it wouldn't affect your business. It would 110% affect your business. Let's just say another thing. Somebody, you know, in your family, uh, uh, passed away, which is a huge tragedy. And it's, it's going to hit you at a whole different state. And at that point, you know, if, if somebody passes away, you know, business should not be your number one priority. You should actually spend time and actually, you know, care for their family, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to get too deep into that, but it's going to hit you emotionally, which then puts your business in a dent. It's just, it, it just translate over. If I were to have my morning routine correctly, you know, my business will go well. Because for me, how I start my day affects, you know, the productivity throughout the day. I start my day with um, reading, getting a coffee, and just taking a shower. Pretty much that's it. I'll maybe shoot a video for you guys for my morning routine. If you guys want to like this, if you guys would like to see, I'll shoot a morning routine for you guys. Just click the like button. Uh, long story short, so this is to simply explain to you kind of the mindset you have to be in 
and why daily habit is so important. Now, a habit takes time to build. I can't give you guys the exact number. I believe anywhere from 30 to 33 days for a habit to actually stick. And my biggest thing to you guys is to take it one step at a time. I wasn't able to read a book ever. I was never able to finish a book, you know, for the last 19 years of my life because reading wasn't my priority. Reading to me was just a waste of time because I'm sitting there reading, you know, stuff that I can actually spend time watching videos or doing something. And not until I realized that I can actually learn or get to know somebody's life, whole life, 60, 70 years and 300 pages. And when I knew that, when I came to realization with that, I was like, this shit, I need to fucking read. ASAP. So I added into my morning routine and every single morning I am able to read. So I'm keeping myself accountable, right? And because I'm reading every morning or every other morning, I'm able to actually keep it consistent, which tells my brain I actually can control my discipline and my habits. So it comes to my business. I can control anything I want in my business. How many sales calls I get, you know, how many prospecting messages, how many, how many videos I have to deliver. So because of that, you guys are going to be seeing a lot more YouTube videos uh, coming very, very soon. I'm not going to sit here and make you guys a promise of how many. I'm just going to slowly, gradually get back into it and then, you know, groove it out. See with my time and the energy I'm putting to the agency, what type of time I have for YouTube. Um, it's a huge priority to me, you know, going into the last six months of the year. I want to be able to create amazing content for you guys and have a super, super big surprise um, starting next year. I'm not going to announce it anytime soon. So just be on the lookout for that. Um, in about six months, a lot of things are going to be changing. A lot of things are going to be happening. And I'm super, super excited about that. And yep, so that's the difference between a six-figure agency and somebody who just started out is daily habit, guys. If you guys like this video, please click the like button, comment below, and share with your friends and family. And I want to say thank you so much for watching the video and enjoying it. Um, other than that, thanks for coming back and watching me. If you would like to actually grow your agency, start an agency, actually take your agency from zero to six-figure, go ahead and click the link below, and I'll be more than happy to actually help you and see how we can help you if we can. Other than that, everybody enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.